My dear wife, Mr. Davies will tell you what's happening here tonight. He's a good man and has done everything he can for me. I suppose there's some other good men here too, only they don't seem to realize what they're doing. They're the ones I feel sorry for. These fellows will go a long way to get the guy to kill Larry Kincaid. Lynch him. Remember, this ain't just rustling. It's murder. Wait a minute, men. Don't let's go off half-cocked and do something we'd be sorry for. We want to act in a reasonable, legitimate manner, not like a lawless mob. <laughs> but you liked excitement. Nothing particular against hanging a murder and rustler. It's just I like doing it in the dark. The hanging? What have we done? With your permission, gentlemen, we'll wait until daylight. Aren't you even going to tell us what we're accused of? Rustling. Ever hear of it? Rustling. And murder. Murder? You got any doubts, Teddy? I say let's call off this party. This is only slightly any of your business, my friend. Remember that? Hanging's any man's business that's around. Even in this godforsaken country, I've got a right to a trial. You're getting a trial with 28 of the only kind of judges murderers and rustlers get in what you call this godforsaken country. So far, the jury don't like your story. I sure wish we was well out of this here business. That's a way of spending time. This man taking on himself the vengeance of the law. Think the Lord cares much about what's happening up here tonight? Listen, man, I'm not trying to obstruct justice. But just as this young man says, this is a farce. And it'll be murder if you carry it through. All he's asking is what every man is entitled to. A fair trial. You got to go there by yourself. Oh, you got to stand before your maker. You got to stand there by yourself. Nobody here can stand for you. Keep your chin up. You can only die once, son.